Welcome to Cider and Cider, where things are about to go south. West. Welcome along. Today we're talking about the West Country. For those of you that are unaware, the West Country is here and encompasses the counties of Cornwall, Devon, Dorset, Somerset and Bristol. It's one of two core cider pun cider making regions in the country. The other one being East Anglia and Kent, on the other side of England. In between there's just white lightning. The West Country ciders are made with a much higher percentage of true cider apples, like our old friend Dabinet, Rattler and Yarlington Mill. These ciders are much sharper and richer in tannins than their eastern cousins. The West Country is also home to scrumpy, unfiltered, cloudy cider, whose recipe is protected by the EU. There are hundreds of independent, family-run, small-scale cider farms across the southwest who have been using these ancient apple varieties for years. These farmyard ciders were used in the 18th century to pay part of a farm labourer's wage. A typical allowance on a farm would be three to four pints per day, and several records in Somerset show that one-fifth of a farm worker's annual wage came in the form of cider. It's not as if the West Country is the home of cider, which has existed for hundreds of years. But if we're talking about a crucible from which our country's love of cider grew, then we find ourselves tipping our hat westwards. Enough chit chat, let's pay tribute to this amazing cider region with a glass of proper, dry Somerset cider. Provided to us by our Dabinet darlings over at CraftyNectar.com, we've got a bottle of Harry's Cider, the original. Harry's Cider! Harry's has been making glorious sun-filled ciders on their family farm in Somerset for years now, and claim to have the perfect, warm, damp climate, mmm, damp, and the most glorious soil perfect for growing apple trees. This one is a dry cider, 6%, made from freshly pressed sweet apple juice. Let's give this one a try. Harry's the original, provided to us by CraftyNectar.com. Nice sparkling cider, I can smell it from here. It smells intense. Yeah, lovely amber, quite still cider, a little bit of spark on there. Pretty quick disappearing head as you'd expect, but yeah, looks delicious. Looks like a glass of sunshine on a damp, a damp old day. Oh, I'm getting toffee apple, I'm getting caramel, just sweet apple juice, it smells delicious. Oh, got some on my nose there. A little fun preview. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's give this one a try. Harry's, the original. Oh, just... Yes! Mmm. Oh, caramel, syrup, super sweet and delicious, and then punch in the face, dry finish, just cutting through that, reset button on the taste buds and you can start again. It is... Oh, that's just awesome. I love this sort of cider. It is unbeatable. It's great. You do, you're drinking it. It's sweet, it's suddenly dry, and you find yourself just sipping more just to get that wonderful, thick, caramel, syrupy... Oh, mmm, winning. Oh, winning. What is this winning? I said like winning. That is, that is just great. Thanks CraftyNectar.com, thanks Harry Cider, and thank you the Southwest for providing the country with pure, unadulterated glasses of sunshine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.